WP Shopping Cart by Instinct Entertainment. So from your dashboard, go down to Products, and so we're going to add a new product. Um, so we're going to call it Wedding Hat, and we'll put the description here, Big Wedding Hat, or whatever you want to put in here. You can put the SKU down here or whatever addition, additional information you want to put in. Um, the category, we'll put it in this instance, we'll put it in final touch. Uh, if you want to put some tags, which can be used for searching, you can do that also. Add. Not going to do anything necessarily with this. Uh, we are going to uh, add a variation, but we're not going to do it here. It doesn't really work that great from here, so we're going to do that from the dashboard settings. Then we're going to upload an image. All right, so let's add the product. And now we want to add a variation to the product because we have three different types of wedding hats. So we're going to go into wedding hat or variations. And we're going to add a new variation set. In this instance, we're going to call it color. We're going to add red, blue, and green. So let's add that. Then we're going to go back into the product we just added. Edit. And we're going to pick a variation, in this instance, the color. Um, oops, I forgot to add a price. Let's see. Do that here. So the wedding hat is $50. If I need to save this, it'll populate the variations. So we're going to say the red one is 50, the blue one's 50, but the green one is 60. All right, so let's save that. So now when we come over to Final Touch, because I put that in the Final Touch category, so now when I click brief, let's just do this. There's, well, that's my sister-in-law, but anyway. Uh, oh, there we go. And this, we can see the red one is $50, the blue one is $50, and the green one is $60. So anyway, that concludes this tutorial on WP Shopping Cart. Stay tuned for additional tutorials by ExcelNet Media.